partner Belezia is a company that you might have heard of by now. They've been making a lot of headway on Instagram lately, and that's how I first heard about them. Um, they reached out to me to do a review of a brand new piece, which I'm very excited to share. It's called Evelyn, and it's not yet available on their website, but it will be soon. So let's take a look at the, the piece, what it comes with. It's a really interesting company in terms of the add-ons that they give and that they provide. So let's jump into a look at those accessories, and then I will show you Evelyn, and I'll put her on for a better look. So first of all, um, the company sends out this whole accessory kit, which is super duper cute. It comes with a headband, a brush, some wig grips, a hair cloth, and um, a little bit of powder, which seems to be like a strange thing to include in a wig kit, but a lot of us use different kinds of powder to do blending, so it's just kind of a fun freebie, and I actually really like these colors. Neutral is my jam, and these are all neutrals, so I will probably also use these on my eyes, and I can let you know how that goes. And it's all in this really cute carrying case. So. I feel like they go the extra mile to put in the sweet touches with their um, with their shipments. So the wig itself comes in a box like this, super cute packaging, and I am a bit of a sucker for packaging, so I appreciate the effort that went into this. Let's take a look at Evelyn. So I did already cut her lace, which I probably could have done with you, but um, oh yeah, and it also comes with this really pretty scarf, which um, I've been seeing some women lately on Instagram and the hair loss community uh, Lorena, she's one of them on Instagram, rocking a beautiful scarf like this with their um, hat toppers or just re a regular topper or wig. It's kind of like J-Lo style, which I love. So that's a really nice inclusion as well. So here's the piece. This is Evelyn. She is, according to the company, 150% density. They call it Uzbeki hair which is classified by them as eastern european hair it's a little bit more fine um but voluminous and light despite the heavy density and i would say first look at it that is very much true it is a lot of hair it has a ton of volume but it still somehow feels light um, it's going to dry slightly wavy um, so i do look forward to washing it and doing a review on it after i wash it as well um, just to see what kind of finish we get and then what's going to go into styling it after because that's always a question I have is how does it come out of the wash you know how easy is it to style so this is sort of like an unboxing review and then down the line I will also give a review following the wash so this is the piece she is beautiful reddish kind of color now I'm ashy so we'll see how it looks on me but I'm excited to try something very different it's a definitely a warmer red color warmer reddish brown color the cap we have a double lace here. Um, so we've got this lace piece in the middle. We've got stretchy wefts in the back. We have adjustment tabs here and a back comb, which for some people you'll want to remove. But for me, I actually really like this because I have um, very little to grip onto here. And so that extra comb will help to keep the wig in place for me. So I actually really like that as well as the inclusion of the side clips. Um, I would consider switching these out for my preferred clips, I think, just because they're not what I'm accustomed to, but definitely a nice thing to have, um, right there. And then we've got the lace extending basically from the ear tab to the other ear tab. It is unbleached in terms of the knots, which for some people is a deal breaker, but for me, um, is ideal because I know that that's going to extend the lifespan of the piece. So for me, bleach knots are a little bit more worrisome. Now, that's a whole other debate, but I don't mind at all. And I know that I can fix this up a little bit with some root powder. Um, and I'll do that for you guys in just a little bit. So the hairline, though, on its own, it's pretty nice. Not bad. And because you can part it in many different directions, uh, you have a lot of freedom there as well if you prefer to be a side part girl, which I generally do, despite the fact that I have a <laughs> center part right now and a center part on here. So I'm going to put this on and be right back. All right, she's on. And I have to say, I know I already talked about the color, but it just hits differently when it's on your own head. Um, I really love the color. I think they did a fantastic job 
uh, with the dimension in this brown. I love the red. And as an ashy girl, because I'm often a topper wearer, I always have to try to find something that kind of matches my bio hair. But because this is a lace top wig, I can just shove my hair underneath and have fun with the color. And I will say they have really done a good job. Like this is a few, what you're seeing here. I know I have a ring light on but it really is that vibrant. Like it's just stunning. So good job on the color for sure. Um, one of the drawbacks for me is that the sizing is off on this piece and you can probably already see it. Um, I, for reference, am a 21 and just a smidge in circumference. I told them this and they sent me a small medium. Now there's no tag inside of this, so I could have been sent the wrong size, but it's a little bit too big. I have the adjustment tabs as tight as they go. And even then you can just see, um, that the lace is there's a lot of excess and this is pulled down as far as it can at the ear tabs because it's now hitting the top of my ears so i can't go any further down to pull this tightly that said i think no matter what this lace is going to require some glue um, even if it was the right size so if you are a true medium i think you can get away with this size if you are small, I recommend um, small extra small i don't know what their sizing is going to be on evelyn because it's not on the website yet but that's just something to keep in mind. But if you're a true medium, the small medium, based on my experience here, should be fine for you. Do keep in mind that you will need glue. Now, for a lot of you, that's not a big deal. You're already gluing down your pieces every day anyway. But if you're someone who likes to stay away from glue, just be mindful of that before you make your purchase. I would really like this to work for me, though. So I'm feeling like I could just add a bang and there would be no problem because and it would just cover any of the lace. And I really love the color so much that I would um, consider wearing a bang, even though I don't have any pieces with bangs because I really do love that. I also love the, the hold of the curl. So this is out of the box, which is kind of crazy um, that it has maintained this level of curl and bounce. And they talked about the being voluminous and a heavy density without feeling heavy. And you get that sense as soon as you put it on. Like it feels light, um, it feels airy and it has this beautiful hold to the curl. And I think for me, that is a big deal because I'm very lazy about styling my pieces. So I want to style them once and I want it to last forever. <laughs> so I do love that. Um, yeah, so lace, be mindful of. It is going to have to be glued down. Um, be mindful of the sizing. Be mindful of the amazing color. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. And the fact that it seems to really hold the curl well. We'll see how it does after washing. Um, the only other thing that I want to talk about is the quality of the hair, because I know I'm going to get questions about that. You know, what's the quality of the hair like? Are there split ends, anything like that? Truthfully, yes, there are some split ends in here and the pieces are not all of uniform length, although it does have angled layers and stuff like that styled into it. So there's also that, but some of the hair is a little bit damaged. Now for me, that's not always a deal breaker. One of the things that I've mentioned before is that my daughter, um, doesn't love when I wear alternative hair, which is every day because she says no one's hair no one has hair that looks that perfect all the time and that's one of the drawbacks to her of me wearing pieces um so when i get pieces that have a little bit of sort of imperfect hair to them i always think it just looks more natural so i know there's going to probably be some people who will watch this and go are you kidding me not a chance i want every hair to be absolutely perfect and immaculate but you're also going to pay for that so you have to weigh the pros with the cons. For me, it's not necessarily a deal breaker unless I'm paying an exorbitant amount of money. So depending on the price range, I'm willing to take some of the good with the bad. The color for me is amazing. The hold of the curl is amazing. And if it means that some of the hairs are slightly imperfect, that's okay to me, depending on the price point. Now, I don't know what Evelyn is gonna cost because she's not up on the website yet, but based on the other inner, inner Belezia um, styles that I've seen online, they're not a very expensive company. So I think, for me, I would probably make a purchase from them just because that's not necessarily a deal breaker for me. So long as the density is good, all the other things check off and it is something that maintains like a good curl and hold following a washing. So I'll let you decide what you do with that information, but that's basically my review. I think the pros are the color, the hold, the feeling of it on my hair, the fact that I look like Kate Middleton when I'm wearing it. I don't look like Kate Middleton when I'm wearing it, but you know, a girl can dream. Um, the drawback for me is the need for glue, but not a drawback for all of you. And that it's just the wrong size for me. Um, hair quality is good, not excellent, but good. So 
there you go. Um, hopefully this review was valuable for you. If you have any questions, feel free to drop something in the comments, send me a DM. Um, I want to thank Inner Belezia for giving me the chance to review this piece and show all of you what it looks like. I am honored to have that opportunity and I definitely will be trying to put this one into my rotation so long as I can cut some bangs into her just to conceal the lace and the fact that it's a little bit too big for me, but I want to make her work. I think she's very cute. I will come back with an updated review down the road after she has been washed and styled by me and maybe has fringe cut into her and then you can see um, how that has turned out. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have a good day.